Yo, what is up guys? Johnny Gagger here today. I'm gonna teach you a flip trick that is easier than kickflip. You might have been told that kickflip is the easiest trick to learn and figured out at some point that kickflips are super difficult. In this tutorial, I wanna give you an opportunity to learn a different trick while you're still working on your kickflips. And as I said, it is a flip trick. It does not require any ollie skills. Now we're talking of the so-called toe flip. Toe flip. What a cool trick. So this trick doesn't require any ollie skills at all. It's pretty good already, right? There is one trick that is key for learning toe flips though. It is the shove it. You don't even have to know how to pop shove it. You just gotta get your shove it unlocked and you should be able to learn this trick super quick. Best case scenario, you're just gonna learn a trick in like 15 minutes. You're excited now? Yes, me too. And you know what happens when I'm excited? I'm gonna show you the foot positioning of this trick. And that means I'm gonna take off my shoes. All right, it's happening again, using my shoes as gloves. On any trick tip before, I was telling you guys that you can set up your feet for each trick different. Like for a kick flip, we have multiple options. So for the heel flip, tray flip, whatever. Now listen, this does not count for the toe flip. Toes of your back foot have to be at the exact spot that I'm going to show you right now should be right here. So we're kind of making this line with the bolts. Okay, but well we're gonna put it right here, not too much into the board. We're gonna try to keep it as close to the edge as possible. That way we can apply the required pressure that it needs to get that pressured burial kick. You cannot make any compromises with the setup of your back foot. It has to be at this spot. If you move it up just a little bit, let's say to the bolts in this line, your board is not gonna do that, shove it. And if you're going too much towards the pocket, the board is not gonna do that full flip. So you gotta hit that sweet spot. This is what home feel likes for your toes, right here. Now your front foot doesn't matter too much. You can set it up like this or like that. It's not too important. Me, myself, I prefer to have it straight. And I also like to have my toes hanging a little over this edge so that I can apply some pressure to this edge of the board. So now we're gonna have pressure here, pressure here. Okay, we're gonna build up that tension. Now your back foot needs to activate that shove it muscle memory because basically everything that the back foot is gonna do is just a shove. It. We elevate our front foot straight and we're just gonna push back the board right into the spot that I showed you before. That's gonna make a burial kick. Best case scenario, you're gonna figure out how to burial flip like this immediately, but this only happens in rare cases. Like I used to learn that trick different. And I'm gonna show you like the best approach to do that. Okay, baby step approach. I'm just gonna put the board in front of me one more time. I'm gonna stand like this. There's like a two feet distance between me and the board. Now I'm gonna put my back foot on that sweet spot right here. Perfect. And I'm gonna try to burial flip. Okay, try to do it. It's not gonna work out first try, that is totally fine. Okay, we got plenty of time. We're not in a hurry, we're not gonna rush. Okay, again. Was a good example already. As I said, it's just important to have a good distance between the board, otherwise your front foot is gonna block the board. See, so step back, one more time. Toe flip, very flip, flip with the toes. What an awesome thing to do on a skate. So that would be the first step. Now on the second step, we're gonna stand on our board. We're gonna set up 
we're gonna try to catch that board with one foot. Okay? That's what I'm talking about. Repeat this over and over. It's gonna make it much easier for you. This trick also does not require any 180 turning, so you gotta keep your shoulders straight. And I think my body weight is kind of centered. I'm not leaning over my board. That way, my board would land behind me, like this. Okay? Lean back a little bit. That's how to do it. As soon as you got step one and step two, it's time to commit. Still standing. Toe flip. Practice this trick in whatever way feels easier for you. Moving or still standing, both works. Another tip for that trick, the tighter your trucks, the easier the trick gets. If you have like super loose trucks, it's almost impossible. If you have the opportunity, try to learn the trick on slippery flat ground instead of rough flat ground. It's way easier to get that shot. And that was it, this is probably the easiest trick to learn, less difficult than a kickflip. It is good looking and the best thing, not many people know about this trick. Like I actually know a lot of experienced skaters and if I do this trick in a game of skate, like only 20% out of them are gonna land that trick. So if you wanna annoy a long time skater and get a leather on him in a game of skate, toe flip is the right way to do it. It's been a pleasure to teach you that trick if you want to learn a different trick, let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna try my best to make a trick tip on it. Thank you for watching. If you want to support me, you can do this on my Patreon, link in the description, or buy one of my pro models, link in the description as well. Have a great day, have a lot of fun skating, learning new tricks, progressing, and see you soon on this channel.